Hey, what's up, Sater? And welcome back to Three Scary Games. It feels good to play horror games again. And originally, I wanted my channel to only feature the best horror games. But there's a plethora of good games and good horror games out there. So yeah, I can't really just stick to one. But my heart will always go out for horror games. Because there's plenty of horror games out there. There are those with cheap jump scares, and there are those with really disturbing ones, really creepy ones that make you think, that really makes you think about stuff when you go to sleep. Things like thinking about life, thinking about your past, thinking about your past mistakes, thinking about your future, thinking about What's in the dark? What's in your closet? Thinking about the skeletons in there. Thinking about your sins. Thinking about the bodies you have buried. Welcome to Real Stories from the Grave. The Body. This is volume 1. I don't know what volume 2 is. Oh man, no oh man, this is so cool. There's just something about the pixelated art style that almost too perfect for horror games almost too appropriate appropriate yeah oh man I, uh, oh wait what is this a body i think it's a body am i some hitman from a mafia family and they somehow tasked me to kill someone surprisingly i'm the monster okay that's cool Da -da 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 Nothing suspicious here. Just taking a body. Do 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 do. Nothing suspicious. Hmm hmm hmm. Time to pop the body into the trunk, and no one will be the wiser. Russell, Russell, Russell. Okay, time to leave. Okay, I'm in a gas station and... Oh, hello there! You saw nothing, right? Yeah, just your average Joe... Um, gonna fill up this tank, okay? A glug glug glug. Oh, refuel. Yep, nothing wrong here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Man, this is taking long. And I'm sweating like a pig here. Refueling tank complete. Yep. Everything is normal. Everything is awesome. Hello, my good man. Let me pay you, and and I be I'll be on my way. Hey, dude, are you okay? You look pale. Me? Pale? No, I'm not pale. You're pale. You're the one who's pale. Do you want to? In Do you want to join that body? Forget what I said. You should pay and shut up. Okay, I'll be on my way. You saw nothing. Be careful out there. Mm, I'm on to you. <laughs> I'm just acting so strange. Right, he's gonna call the cops on me. Okay, time to be a professional hitman and bury the body. Russell, Russell, Russell. Okay, I've got the body and I got my favorite shovel with me. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I need to do this or the boss will kill me <laughs> seriously if I don't bury this body my boss will bury my own okay I think this is dark enough let me just start digging here or maybe not I hear the wind Oh, is that 
a hole in the ground. Oh no, that's a a dock. This is a docks. Put the body in the boat. Oh, you're in it for a treat, pal. You're gonna be swimming with the fishes if you catch my drift. Yep, this is the only way to dispose of a body. It kinda reminds me of Silent Hill 2, the part where you navigate your way towards the hotel. There's a lighthouse. What? Why? A am I just not gonna dump a body in here? Am I supposed to... Do I have a cellar full of dead bodies in them? I must be one good hitman to do that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, sure, why not? I'm gonna dispose of it anyway, so why not be in the lighthouse? Nothing strange about that, right? Right. Okay. Going closer. Okay, this is taking like forever. What the hell, man? Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Are you still alive in there? Okay, you're still alive. Better finish the job. How can you be still alive? I shot you in the head, I shot you in the heart, I shot you in your private part. Okay, you're one sturdy son of a bitch. So yeah. I don't leave jobs unfinished. Sorry buddy, but I have a heart of steel here. You'll get no mercy from me. Close your heart to them. Because they will not feel for you. That's what my dad told me. And he called me boy. Go inside. A note? No. Ah, oh, there. Well, lay the body. Okay, you wait there, whoever you are, and I'm just gonna get my um favorite gun or favorite knife. I don't know how I kill people. Is there something in here? Oh, I can run. Nice. Favorite gun. Favorite gun. Gun under the bed? No. Or a key. Am I going to kill that person with a key? Yeah, sure. Jam it in his throat and there's gonna be a bloody mess. Uh, but anyway, I'm the hitman here, so whatever goes, I think. Grab the body. You're not gonna puncture his throat first? Eh, okay, maybe we'll do it to, in the other room. Squeak, squall. Oh, we're gonna do it in the basement. How odd. It's not classy. Am I just some dude who's been... Am I a killer? I'm guessing I'm a killer. Who just takes victims. Mm -mm, no. I would have preferred if I was some sort of um, hitman. September 12th. 1997 it was my fault yeah I'm just some crazy dude who's out there killing people hmm don't like it January 11 1998 I accepted this job at the lighthouse I can stay there alone I miss him is this your is this your wife or child I'm guessing it's your wife it's too big to be a child did you kill them how many have you killed What the? Are there more vic Are there more victims down there? March 20, 1998. 
Edward told me about this doctor. Her name is Christine Willard. I will try to call her. Did you do some Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster shit here? You did! I see something over there! Oh crap. March 23. The doctor said she can bring them. No! What did, what did you do? What the? Sh she did it. I don't know how, but they're alive and there's something wrong with them. There's a little one and there's a big one. Oh my god. You raised your family from the dead and it's not nice. July 11, 1998. Oh, I just told you. There's something wrong with them. Hey, honey. Here's for dinner. Oh my god. There's a lot more. Oh my god. Hang. I'm hanging the doctor. Yeah. Canned bean, bacon, and s bacon soup. Hey, honey. Do you like it? Yeah. Why is there a chair here? Am I gonna just gonna watch them? Like, yes. This is my family. This is my life now. Oh, what's that? Is that a shrine? It's just a picture of us. Oh, a loving family. And now this. July 12, 2005. I can't do this anymore. I won't feed them again. But there's one last thing I need to do. What's this? Grab rope. Where am I gonna use the rope for? Am I gonna tie them up? Hey, honey, we're gonna do something kinky. I'm sorry. Then tie them up. Are we gonna tie her up? Oh. 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 Oh, 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 I get it. I get it. Oh. Foot rope. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So after they're done with that, they're gonna eat me and then you're just gonna starve to death here. Okay. I'm gonna see you in hell, love of my life. And sweetie pie. Okay. This took a dark turn. Oh no. I don't like that sound. I'm getting all Sayori vibes here. Nice game, Constantino. Nice game. It had mystery, it had creep factor, and it had such disturbing content. On to the next game. Hey, welcome to the second game. It's called Siren Head. It seems like Siren Head is the new Slenderman, the new kid on the block. We're gonna review what Slenderman is. He is the symbol of our fear of the dark because we know that it's a mystery, it's pitch black, and there's something or someone that's trying to get us. So yeah, he pretty much covers that. He's creepy, he's mysterious, and deadly. But then we have Siren Head. He is the new entity that has ravaged the internet suddenly. And he is something new. He is big, he's loud, and he has a siren for a head and a mouth. So yeah, welcome to Siren Head, the game based on the creature by Trevor Henderson. Let's start. Oh, how nice, how lovely. Ah, my old forest service truck. I really should have it washed. Seriously, that's mud and dirt? It, it looks rust. Yeah, it's rusted. Well, why not just scrap it or and buy a new one or just have it a decent paint job? You cheap bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
A hiker was reported missing. I was sent here to take a look around for them. Hopefully, they're not hurt. Ah, let's stare into the sun. the hell? Oh, 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 it's turning dark. Yeah, that's the cool part about Siren Head. He's loud, creepy looking, and intriguing nonetheless. Yeah, he's gonna be a great horror figure from now on. It's a backpack. Maybe it belongs to some hiker. But why leave it behind? Yeah, that's the thing about Slenderman. When you see Slenderman, you run away from him because it means doom. But with Siren Head, you just want to stare at him and meet your doom with dignity and grace. Is that skid mark? Scratch mark? No, 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 that's skid mark. Don't step on it. A scrap of shirt. Looks like there was a struggle. You think. You think. Okay, come on. There's more skid marks. More? No, those are skid marks, not scratch marks. Are we gonna go into? S are we gonna go into Siren Head's den over here, where he just wipes his ass everywhere? Oh, that's gross, man. <laughs> that's gross. No, no, I don't like that. Starting to get dark. Okay, okay. Ah, how lovely. More skid marks. Could that be the hiker? Yes, it is. I don't know what type of clothes are those, but those are ripped. And not in a good way. Is that a mouth with teeth on it? Oh, oh. Oh! Ah! 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 No! No! <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so awesome. Oh my god. Hell yeah! No, 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 no. We gotta get out. So he does have a radio voice. Huh, cool. Cool. Okay, that's creepy as frick. Okay, gotta get out. No. Is that the sound of the guy you just murdered? Uh, grab your keys. Grab your keys. Come on. Are you just flipping your keys around? Ah, uh, there we go. You see hot on our trails. Oh. He was hot on our trails. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, there you go. That's the second game. Siren Head. There's no escaping death. All right. This is the third game. It's called The Wine Man. It was made by a fellow YouTuber that goes by the name of Rushy Place. So yeah, Rushy, if you're watching this, I'm gonna say sorry in advance if I suddenly brutalize your, what do you call this, game. <laughs> if I say something offensive or if I'm making fun of it, it's all because that's what I do in horror games. I try to lighten the mood, if you catch my meaning. So yeah, let's just play it. Uh, where I finally moved to the city with my uncle, I didn't read the first part. What? Gotta go to the kitchen, have breakfast, and prepare to go to my apartment that my uncle rented for me. Okay, that's nice. Kitchen! I'm so cute! <laughs> I love RPG makers, types of horror games. There's, they have that certain charm to them. Are you my mother? Hello, mother! Oh, good morning, Rushy. 
Did you have a nice day? Yes, Miss Michiko. I woke up early so I can talk to my dad before he leaves. You're not my mother. Are you our maid? Oh, that's great. Your dad is outside. Go talk to him. I already made breakfast for two of you. Thanks, Miss Michiko. Daddy? Daddy! Oh, those are cute. Um, Daddy, why, why are you leaving? Dad, 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 why are you leaving? Love me! Hey, Rashi, your father or the... Oh, you're not my father? Did he buy milk? I'm guessing he bought milk. I always knew that he didn't love me. <laughs> I always knew that he would buy milk someday. I just didn't thought it would be today. And who the hell are you? Where did he go? He bought milk. He said he is going to the city where he is. we are staying. Let's hit the road. We might meet him there. Alright then. Uh, who the heck is calling this late at, our, late at night? Might be the landlord, I guess. What's this? A picture of the landlord who gave it to me on my... What the hell? Your landlord, a grown man, gave you his self-portrait on your birthday. Don't you think that's a bit... Um, creepy? Hmm. I have some stubble here on my chin. I better shave later on. Yeah, here too. Shave, shave, shave later on. Okay, we all know that creepy landlord of yours. Let's check the sink. Or, oh, that's a phone. Oh, hello. Rashi, it's your uncle. Oh, hey, uncle. Why did you call me this hour? Can you do me a favor and visit this mansion outside of town? For what reason? Just do me a favor and do it already. Jeez, Louise, no need to be pushy. Alright, jeez, I'm leaving now. Is Uncle in a bad mood today? Because it feels like it's not him. But hey, Father is in the mansion. I might as well check it. Did Father come back to buy milk? <laughs> and he didn't leave me? Where's my mother? Okay, time to go into the blue car that is 10 times bigger than me. It's strange that Uncle called me late at night to visit some weird mansion. I think it's something important. Oh, it's raining. Nice. This must be the place. Now, I don't know why Uncle wants me to go here. This place looks like abandoned and smells. But it must be something important. Okay, we get it, we get it. Something important. Something your father, uh, Uncle wants you to do. And that's the well in the movie, The Ring. Although it looks like there's something inside. A dead body of a mistreated girl. Is that a giant hole in the ground? Yeah, it is a giant hole in the ground. Kind of like a stone hut built down there. What stone hut? Strange. Who you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbuster! Okay, let's go inside. And conveniently, we're locked in. Yeah, I just told you, it's locked in. No choice, but I have to find a way out of this place. Dude, when you start hearing demonic gurgling in the house, you better get the fuck out. What's this? Red wine on the floor. Someone must have dropped this. Wait, there's a key inside. Take the key. You took the key from the wine bottle. Why would there be a key in a wine bottle? And what's up with the team? Rushy, what's up with the team of wine in this game? Is it an allusion to the cask of Amontillado? You know that Edgar Allan Poe story? Painting of a lady. Ah, is, is it not my landlord again? <laughs> Ah, swords. Good. I can defend myself. I can't even use that. I don't even know how to fight. Well, aren't you useless? Ah, a giant chimney. Wow, this chimney seems really big. I can actually fit inside if I tried. Reach inside. Ah, there we go. Hurricane Knight, this might come in handy. 
I hope I don't end up stabbing someone. You're willing to take a knife, but the sword on the wall, you're not. Okay. I don't get your logic, kid. <laughs> Stab! Stab! If you're giggling, ch like children giggling, somewhere or just anywhere, <laughs> you, you better start to think twice now. Or be, at least be cautious. Okay, someone is trying to pull a prank on me. And I don't like who, whoever you are. Show yourself. Ah, there we go. Yourself. Your voice echoed through the whole house. Huh. Why? There is a box behind the bear. I should check it. Maybe there's something inside there. Yeah. Children screaming. Children giggling. It can make a game ten times worse. There's something inside. Reach your hand. You got a stone key. A stone key. Great. Now I can unlock that door. What door? A boy without a name, without a right eye, through the scurry nights, the boy cowered into the darkness, hiding his shame upon the villagers. I don't have a right eye, but I have a name. No one knew the story of, and his origins, however, they have, he has a power that others seem to be cautious of. The power to turn people into a bottle of wines. Why? Why wine? Is it like Midas and his golden touch? Every night, people seem to have gone missing. The villagers searched the area, and the only trace they found was a drip of wine heading straight into the old mansion. That's one long drip. <laughs> like seriously, you can pour an entire wine bottle on your pavement, and it won't make it to the mansion. And after time, stories and legends unfold, now giving this mysterious killer a name. He was called Jeff, or Jack. The wine man. That's usually the case for most creepypastas. Have someone name starts with a J and then you're good to go. Oh, are you talking about this door? This door has been opened. Told ya! Children screaming or children giggling is 100% creepy. Sounds like it's coming down there. I don't know if I should check it out, but don't check it out. You heard screaming. I need to find out who was that. They might be in trouble. Don't be a simp just because you heard a girl screaming. And we just went down. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a wine bottle on the floor. Another wine bottle on the ground. Only this time its colors are different. It's not just red, but it's something else. And you don't have the grace to tell me what it is? Okay. What was that? Did someone broke into the house? Better stay quiet, I might attract unwanted attention. And your steps is louder than my mouth. Seriously. Ah, suit of armor. Come on, let's put it on. An armor stand looks like an antique collection. There is something inside of it. You found a letter. And it says... And it says it's to Mr. Wine Man. Your name is Mr. Wine Man. Okay. From Miguel. I don't have time to read it. Somebody's in here. Okay, okay. No need to be in a rush. <laughs> Get it? Rush. I think I'm gonna need that knife. But hey, it's rusty. Because I'm guessing that as soon as I use it, it will be magically broken. Oh, what's this? You found a piano notes. Ah, yes. I can understand it. I'm an instant professional at this now. Just by reading this letter. Cool, cool. Okay, my mic broke. Bummer. Ah, uh, told ya. Sheets? Okay. Old drawers. Come on, give me a weapon. A child's dress, by seeing the size and color, it might belong to a boy. Don't assume. It makes uh, it makes an ass out of you and me. That what that is what Jack taught me. Ah, yes. All I see in this mirror is a person without any talents whatsoever. The mirror depicts a person who has no... Rushy. Come on, man. 
Don't be, don't be so mean. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't be like that. Oh, it hurts. Bone deep. Whatever. Okay, time to pay, play the pioneer. Here goes nothing. La 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 la. That's not how. That's not how you play the piano. What kind of demonic sheet music? Sheet music is this? Sounds like the door over there opened. I must have activated the switch when I played the piano, and it's gone. The rumbling of hell. What am I seeing here? What happened here? This can't be real, right? Uh, unless we drank the wine, I'm guessing this is a hallucinating dream we we are having. I did not care. I did not come to see this. I did not. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> sorry, 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 Rashi. <laughs> I just had to do it. Uh, Calm down, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing my ass off. Did you, did you guys get it? That's what that was a room, the room reference. Hmm, this is not real. I'm just hallucinating. Yeah, unless you drank the wine. All right, think positive. Breathe slowly. Let's just calm down and find a way out of here. There are holes. I must be careful. Like, dude, there are arrows pointing over here. Can you see my? Uh, yeah, there are arrows pointing at this place. I think it's really obvious where we should go. Oh, what's this? Papa? Is this you? Okay. Huh. Huh. Finally, I'm out of that stinking room. But what is this place? Well, whatever it is, it's at least better than the second room. Okay. The wine cellar. Are you sure this is better? This is a different painting than the one I saw from the other rooms. Are you sure this is better? This looks like a dungeon and if I know my dungeons, there's all sorts of torture in there. Other wine drop on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. No, no. But the drips of the red wine is forming a word. The second number is... 14 minus 10 so 4 what's the first number this wine has some words written behind it said the first number is 2 are you gonna give me a save seems like someone is writing let me just lower the wall seems like someone is writing a letter it's with the signature written by a guy called Miguel Behold the wine cellar where the we nah, sorry. Behold the wine cellar, the place where the wine man store all of his wines ranging from grapes to human blood. How can you make human uh, wine out of human blood? Because blood turns black, right? So it won't be red anymore. Beware the door beneath the halls. It lies a secret that no one shall know. Okay. Okay, uh what was that? Um two uh, 14 minus 10, 4, and then drip drip, type my slip, ah, expensive looking wines, of course, 2 bottles of wine, ah, the third number is, I'm not good at math, let me just check on my phone, 28, okay, so 2428. Okay, that's pretty easy. Yay! I solved the puzzle. There is something inside here. You got a statue piece. Statue. Oh, there's a statue upstairs, right? On my way to fix a statue. On my way to unscrew a screw. You do you. I don't know what kind of song is that. I'm so lame. Okay, sounds like... Windows! Stop disturbing me! 
Okay, it opened the uh Hello? Who are Nope 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 that screams nope it's not ah no it's nope Okay You know too much Son Papa are you the wine man Papa Are you It's hard enough that you bought milk but you're gonna be a killer as well My fragile heart cannot take it anymore Oh, my head. What just happened? Where am I? I can't remember what happened. You just said it. What is this place? Whatever it is, I have to get out of here. Oh, hi, Mark. I'm already done seeing wines on the ground. So, nothing special really here. Maybe Tommy Wiseau is the wine man. He just goes, I did not do it, I did not, I did not, and he suddenly throws wine glasses on the ground. Wine bottles. Oh, a book. If you're reading this, this is... Then your luck is... Ah! If you're reading this, then you're in luck. I was in a cage here for 12 years until I managed to make myself some homemade tools. I left them in the boxes somewhere. Although I'm nearing my final breath, I hope you can escape here alive signed by Miguel can I escape through here ah okay there's a lot of spider webs above we should probably find something that I can use to remove it window hole a uh, crack on the wall ah seems fragile maybe I can open it with something a broken box oh is this the box you were talking about wait there's something in here small hammer oh great and there's nothing else okay okay time to break the wall smash hawk smash good a long stick so we just poke those spider webs okay let's poke the spider webs poke 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 <laughs> what is this place we're still in the mansion kid don't be a scatterbrain it looks like I'm in someone's bedroom. Whatever it is, I should probably get outside and as soon as possible. Yeah, you should. What the? Uh, Rushy, there's an invisible wall over there. What's up with that? Oh, oh my god, oh my god! There you are. You won't escape me this time. <laughs> Stranger danger! Ah! Oh my crap! Oh my crap! Oh my god! What was that? I don't know. Oh, strange! Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of this. Stranger danger! Why do I hear God of War music? What the hell does he want from me? I need to get out of here fast. So you wanna go... MC go brrr. Okay. I need to find a lever. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> Picture! Lever! There's usually a lever behind pictures. Beds! Wine bottles. There's just creep after me. I need to get out of here. No, I'm not gonna read that. It might be a trap. Oh crap, there's a lot of levers. This is a switch room in it used to open the door in the main hall. All the switches and levers here are colored red. Warning, some of the levers and switches are dangerous. We advise that only one switch or lever will unlock the door and the rest will kill you. Oh, okay, why would you have a room full of levers? The book above me is not trusted, but 
Use these instructions to avoid the lever he mentioned. The lever on the right seems pretty trusted. Both the levers below will kill you. The switch looks trusted as well. The lever below the switch will kill you. Find the, le the real lever, I won't help you anymore. Wait, what? All of the levers will kill me? Okay, let's try the switch. Will it kill me? I better save. Let's analyze the instructions. The lever on the right seems to be trusted. Both the levers below will kill you. There's three levers in there. The switch looks trusted as well. The lever below the switch will kill you. Find the real lever. I won't help you anymore. So, you're not to be trusted. So, this is the lever. So, I'm guessing one of these levers below will... Sorry for the spit. Uh... Yes, the book said that the two levers below will kill me. So, I'm guessing that they're the true lever. <laughs> they were the true lever. You heard the sound coming from the main hall. Told you. Please, Mr. Wine Man, don't kill me. The door has been opened. What the hell is this place? More wine. I'm already thirsty. This wine looks good. Nope, I'm not gonna drink that. Don't go drinking strange wine in a mansion. Drink the wine. What? No, 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 I'm gonna leave. The letter that you got activate this door. What letter? I'm finally free. I will never come back at this mansion ever again. But father... Nah, he went out to buy milk. Let him suffer his fate. So that's why uncle warns me about this place. And then why did he send you here? It holds a memory that will never forget. Goodbye father. This is what you get for buying milk and leaving me. Run away from the past. Good ending. Oh, there are multiple endings. Thank you for playing my first game RPG Maker. Sorry that I rushed this game due to the fact that I'm going to make another project and just- Ah! Rushy, you're writing too fast. Purchase me the game down below if you like this. Feel free to feedback if you open on my YouTube channel credits. Okay, match with you, Rushy. Okay. Okay, you can just basically pause it, everyone, if you want to read it. Rushy, it's too fast. I can't read that fast. Okay. Nice, it was nice. It was a short and neat little game. And it has multiple endings. And obviously, I'm not gonna play it all because you should check this game out. Made by Rushy Place. Thanks uh making this... Uh, game it was really cool I really liked it and I hope you do well in your other project so that's it that's three scary games that's all the time I have for this video if you want more contests like this give me subs give me likes and give the bell a ring in the nuts and I'll see you seeders in my next video bye bye